let's talk about patterns in music. Hey! A repeating pattern, also known as a riff, loop, or ostinato, is the perfect musical building block. You take a short little bit of music, loop it for a while, and develop other related patterns or ideas to layer on top or underneath. Repeating patterns can serve many different roles in music, including bass lines, accompaniment with or without a melody, or the entire structure of the music altogether. I'm going to show you a couple different combinations of those roles, first by using my instrument to record the pattern we discovered. Now I'm going to try improvising a melodic line over it. over the original pattern instead of a melodic line. Did you notice the differences between the way the two lines interacted in my first combination versus my second? You can try a bunch of different combinations this way. A pattern stacked on a pattern, a pattern stacked on a melody, a pattern stacked on top of a bass line. If you're not sure where to start with your patterns, try choosing just a few pitches to work with at first. You can use all or part of a pentatonic scale, for example. This kind of improvising and exploration is also something you can try with a small group of friends once you're able to get together again. If you have recording software or a mobile app like Acapella, you can also try out more than two layers at home yourself. I wanted to show you some music that developed our original pattern into a few more roles, so I decided it was time to strike up the band. The Garage Band. For this example, I started out with a bass line that took the rhythm of the original pattern and used just one pitch. This is sometimes known as a pedal or a drone. Next, some chords using the same rhythm. I used a few different chords to help give the pattern some direction instead of just sitting on one chord. the pattern with its original pitches. Here's what it sounded like all together so far. Alright, we have a constantly looping bass line and harmonic accompaniment. Time to add a few hits onto that. Sprinkles on the cupcake, if you will. touches, a melody to float over the top, and a drum kit loop from the loop library because I wanted one. Let's listen to the whole thing.
like a series of fashion choices. The more layers you add that have very active patterns or rhythms, the busier and denser your overall texture will be. Here's an example of what I mean. on the other end of the spectrum, the less constant motion your patterns have and the fewer number of patterns that are all stacked on top of each other at any given time, the lighter and more sparse your texture is going to be. Let's look at an example of that. different, right? It's the same number of instruments as the denser example, but I approach the patterns with less movement and more space in between each repetition, and fewer instruments playing at the same time. One thing you may have noticed is that in the second half of that sparse example, I switched some of the parts around so that some instruments were playing different patterns than they started out with. I did this to vary the music a bit. For additional variation, you can also modify individual patterns by periodically changing up the pitches or the rhythms, expanding or shrinking your original building block, changing how often or how consistently a pattern repeats, or removing certain patterns from the stack at different points. Like your choice of texture, the amount you do or don't vary the music just depends on your personal preference and anything specific you're hoping to achieve with the music. As you can see, we created a ton of different musical ideas, and they all originated from just two measures of music. Methods like these are all about just taking that first musical step and seeing where it leads you. Next time you're listening to your favorite song, see if there are any of these musical building blocks you can pick out and what role or roles they play in the music. Are they a bass line, an accompaniment, the main feature, E, all of the above? To get you started, I've linked a smorgasbord playlist below, featuring music across a whole variety of genres. They all use patterns and repetition in some way, and I hope they'll help you think about possibilities for your own patterns in music. Happy listening, happy exploring, and of course, happy composing. <laughs>